Hi guys, Dave Hall here with Restore a Muscle Car out of Lincoln, Nebraska. We have a 79 Trans Am. This is a 6.6 .6 liter. It's a 403 Olds motor automatic. This car has two digits on the odometer, 35 miles. It's still got the original window sticker in the side glass on this car. This car came out of a collection out of the Michigan area. A customer of ours called us a while back. I want to say it was, I think, around the beginning of the year or maybe it was even last year and said that uh, this house had went up for sale. It had uh, a few vehicles sitting in the garage out behind the house and when they went over to, uh, to check out the property and stuff, uh, this car was in there. So this car was specifically purchased as an investment piece not to be driven. The family that had purchased them, I think they had purchased at least another one. So they purchased either two or three of these cars that were similar equipped. I think they drove the other ones a little bit. This one was never driven. It's only got 35 miles. 3.5 on the odometer. The, uh, uh, it's basically a brand new 1979 Trans Am. So it's an, it's an outstanding, original, unmolested piece. This car runs and drives, which I say that a lot, but it does. You can get in this car and drive it. Um, obviously, we haven't been dri driving it much at all because it's still got original tires on it, and they are in really good shape, of course with only 35 miles on them. The, uh, the paint, the decals, the overall condition of this car from top to bottom is, is outstanding. We did do some power washing, uh, engine compartment and underneath, just to kind of clean it up. It was obviously dusty from sitting, cobwebs, a lot of the typical stuff. I'm not that kind of guy on a barn find that likes to just leave it like that. So we've done a few things cleanup wise, you know, everything from servicing the vehicle out front to back, checking everything over, checking the brakes, fluids, power washing, cleaning. Uh, we did put a new headliner in it. It's the original carpet seats. Everything else in the interior is original on this car. Um, the, the seat belts are in unbelievable looking condition. The, uh, um, door panels, everything. It does have power locks, uh, manual windows. It has factory air conditioning, AM, FM radio. The uh, glove box still has the factory manuals that are brand new looking. And in this little envelope here are the, is a spare set of keys. The knockouts in here for the keys are also in here as well, which is pretty cool. We have uh, a letter from the owner that we have back at the shop that we'll show as well. It basically just states that it was purchased for investment purposes. A few of the other documentation pieces that come with the manual that are in the glove box have not been messed with. So then there's a number actually, the F9459, probably the dealership inventory number. And you can see that number on the key tag that come with the car and actually on the back side of the mirror. The rear view mirror, I can see a, a, a tag as well with that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car up. That was not a cold start, but the cold start I did just a couple minutes ago was basically with one pump of the gas and she fired right up before we moved it out here into the middle of the shed. You can see it's got the original air intake stuff. The car did come with cruise control, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, the power door locks, manual windows. Still got all the original belts and hoses, original tires. It's um, just a really, really good car. The door buzzer even still works, which is Sounds great, it's very loud. The interior obviously being in extremely nice shape. One of the things we always look for on these low mileage cars is the, this plastic. Uh, it's a clear plastic piece that goes on the base of the pillar on both, both sides, a, front A pillar. 
typically they're either degraded and gone or they've turned yellow or they're not even there. Obviously this car still has them in there and they look brand new. The, uh, the rear view mirror, um, just above the rear view mirror with the, the visor still has uh, the instructions and stuff for how to use your seat belts and all that some of the safety stuff. Also the ashtray, that's also another huge piece that we look at on a lot of low mileage cars. Never been smoked in, that ashtray's never been used. All the chrome trim around the shifter bezels, the console, the door panels, the sill plates. The sill plates look like they're brand new. It's just a 35 mile car. It's what you would expect on a low mileage car that's been stored always. The seals are obviously all in extremely nice shape. The trunk basically is brand new looking, the original spare jack. We actually have the original uh, front license plate bracket as well. That's still brand new. The weather stripping around the trunk, the decals in the trunk, all that stuff. It's just really neat to see on an untouched car. We'll have some really good photos and videos of the undercarriage as well that we'll show in the video. But the underside, it was just extremely clean. Didn't take hardly anything to, to kind of bring it up to speed. So kind of one of those cars, it's, it's a tough to sell, but it's a neat piece that needs to, to be in a museum based on the miles and the condition. But this is a Saturday lot number of 1299 Barrett Jackson, 1979 Trans Am, 35 original Survivor miles. Don't wanna miss this one, guys. Thank you.